Hello and welcome to We're Watches. This is Loki, episode six. So we're at the finale. I really hope that they can land this. Some of the other finales for the Disney Plus shows haven't been great. They haven't quite stuck the landing, but I really hope this does. I have been spoiled on one thing through a YouTube thumb now, just that there was a kiss between Sylvie and Loki, but I kind of expected that anyway. And then this episode is called For All Time Always, and I was having a discussion with a friend, and I had this thought of that when Loki and Sylvie kiss, they're gonna say for all times always to each other, or they'll become separated somehow at the end and they'll say it to each other and then the episode title is this so I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. In terms of who is behind the TVA, my main theories are Kang, a Loki variant or Doctor Doom. The Loki variant is the most likely. Kang, I'm not so sure that they'd introduce such an important character here. Most of these Marvel movies, the TV shows have been quite self-contained. And then Doctor Doom, that's really out there but you know, if it is Kang, Kang is related to Fantastic Four in some ways because he's Reed Richards' great, 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 great grandson or whatever. So maybe it's not too out there. I don't know. So before we get into it, be sure to check out the Patreon. Over there you can find full-length timer-based reactions, one week early access, and polls so you can vote for what's next. So yeah, let's just jump into it. You weren't born to be king, Loki. You were born to cause pain. And if he was born to be king, was he born to be king of time? And there's, you know, a king, Loki, who's stopping all the other Lokis. Also, there was that thing on Twitter where someone accidentally put that B-15 was a variant. And I kind of have this theory that maybe every single person is a variant of Loki. And that makes, you know, the show being called Loki really fitting because every character we have seen that's in the TVA and everyone else are actual Lokis. Pass the guard dog. I'm gonna enchant it. She's pretty cool. I hope classic Loki survives somehow and has some way to return. Okay, let's see who it really is. The top of that tower reminds me of one of the pruning sticks. The way it glows like that. Oh! Now you wouldn't have heard it. This is the song from Endgame. Okay, so it's, it's playing the sounds from everyone talking. Okay. My dream. Was that the Big Bang? To experience it. What is happening? This is like the thing that happened in Doctor Strange almost. Are these all the different timelines? Is this where the castle is at the end of time? Yeah. So like those, that's the sacred timeline in the background. Oh, if it is Kang, they're going to have to spend a lot of the episode kind of setting up why he was doing this and his motivation. So that's why I think it's a Loki variant or someone we've already seen in the show. Oh wow, this is really cool. I'm keeping an eye out for a blue aesthetic because apparently each episode has being themed after one of the Infinity Stones, like color palette wise. Oh, that gold streak for it, that's cool. It reminds me of like, um, Kitsugune. <clears throat> She's so nervous. They open for them, yeah. Then I'm looking for the statues to give me clues or something. It's a very cool setting. <laughs> Miss Minutes? Okay. To the citadel at the, end the citadel okay y'all had an awfully long journey to she's just here to protect he's impressed he who remains he who remains he created all and he controls all is the character called he who remains and he's worked it out so we can reinsert both of y'all back into the timeline in a way that won't disrupt things. <laughs> okay. And y'all can live the lives you've always wanted. And what have we always wanted? Yeah, exactly. How would you like to win? He doesn't want that anymore, does he? You can kill Thanos. Both of us. Are they actually considering it at all? They're on the timeline. It's fiction. Mm, yeah. We write our own destiny. <laughs> yeah, def there's a definite blue color palette here. She's downloading something. Is it info on a craft that would get her there? Was that actual actually real? Ah, uh, <laughs> memories of Mobius. Some things had to get worked out. 
but I'm downloading the files you need now. Miss Minutes is weird because you think she's just like an AI that could be everywhere at once. I know, but he thinks this will be more useful. Okay. That's cool. He who remains. Not for much longer. <laughs> he who remains at the end of time. One of the statues has fallen. Oh, they're three of the timekeepers. Is he like a final timekeeper? Those are statues of the timekeepers, then one's fallen. I feel like whoever it is, he's just gonna like be kind of friendly to them and try and have a chat with them first. <gasps> it is Kang. That's Jonathan Majors. This is why. Same person. He's not blue. It's it's a little unnatural. This is our first reference to Fantastic Four then. Is he actually Kang yet or is he just um Nathaniel Richards? Is he is he just going by that or is he going by Kang? Come on, let's talk. From my office. <laughs> yeah. So he's the big bad of the MCU that look out for our knees at the moment. Not what you were expecting, hmm? A man. Flesh and blood. Just <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Okay, so most of the Disney Plus shows have been very self-contained. This makes it different introducing a villain because he's going to be in Quantumania, right? He almost looks like a sorcerer the way he's dressed in this room. You know, Kang being such a big villain in the future as I expected him to be very grand, not kind of goofy like this. You know how Thanos was very serious and very grand? And everything. I said I wasn't to be disturbed. Well, you're not going to be happy to see me. <laughs> He's back. Look at them all rough and grizzled. Oh, well, you know, one man's void is another man's piece of cake. <laughs> I couldn't let you get in the way of our mission. Timekeepers are fake. We're all variants. What mission? It can't. Yeah. Hunter D90 to my office immediately. Yeah, sorry, Mona. That's not going to work out the way you think it is. Now that we know your secret. Oh, he's told everyone. Secure the perimeter. Ohio. Uh, is there going to be a reference to Black Widow here? Because Ohio. Stand down, B-15. You need to listen to me. There'll be time for that. Just wait. This is... He used to be a teacher here or something. Judge Renslayer. Oh, okay. That isn't Judge Renslayer. Yeah. That's how before... Was Renslayer... Did Renslayer teach Nat when she was a kid? <laughs> you can't kill me because I already know what's going to happen. Oh, okay. He just got the script. But how do I already have it loaded up with everything I need to know to keep from being killed by you two? And I've seen it all. He's observed like all of the possibilities at once. That little look by the lake. <laughs> I paved. Did he really? Why would he have let them get this far then? The TBA is a lie. But what if it's a necessary one? Someone but what, what if it's not? She doesn't know. What? Chaos. Death. Free will? Yeah. Only one person gets free will. The one in charge. What? Why is she going though? She's packing her stuff. You didn't change? You betrayed me. No, no, you betrayed me. Eons of friendship. And you threw it all away on a couple of Lokis. We can't take away people's free will, Ramona. Yeah. Please, Mobius. Yeah. <laughs> She's not gonna this time, yeah. Where are you gonna go? In search of free will. Okay. So is she abandoning the TVA? Without the me. Without the TVA. Everything burned. And what are you so afraid of? How? I guess in certain timelines they could branch over to other timelines and then there'd be an, there might be a way that everything ceases existence. I've been dubbed many names by many people. A ruler, a conqueror. Yeah. A jerk. <laughs> On Earth in the 31st century. Okay, that's Nathaniel Majors. And he discovered that there were universes stacked. 
Nathaniel um, Richards, not Majors. Other versions of us were learning the same thing, using the best of their universes to improve the others. Not every version of me was so pure of heart. Yeah, okay. That has to be conquered. Yeah. And <laughs> it's like King the Conqueror. All out war. Fighting to preserve their universe. Mm. <laughs> that first variant encountered a creature. A liar. Oh, okay. I weaponized the liars and I ended, I ended the multiversal war. Yeah. If you think I'm evil, just wait. Oh. My variants. Okay. Is the Kang that's going to be in Quantumania a variant? There's two options. One, kill me and destroy all this. And you don't just have one devil. You have an infinite amount. Oh, yeah. You two run this thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm older. I'm older than I look. I've gone through a lot of scenarios trying to find the right person to take this spot. <laughs> He's almost like Willy Wonka. It was personal to me. Oh, grow up, murderer, hypocrite. We're all villains here. <laughs> Is that Ravona? Is that the sound of Ravona ship? What's happening? We just crossed the threshold. So I fibbed. I fibbed earlier when I said I know how everything is going to go. I okay. Everything up to a certain point, and that point was about right there. Oh, you can see all the branches. I'm being candid. <laughs> that makes it a bit more interesting that he doesn't know from now. Let us decide your fate. Yes. Free will. No manipulation. I love this shot. That's the window behind him. I love all this honesty. I like the aesthetic of the power and of this place with the gold streaks. It's almost like branching timelines. And kill him. <laughs> okay, a fight between the two. What is he saying the truth? So what? I believe him. And I don't think mm. he's lying. Remove the dictator and what fills the void? I promise you from my heart, this isn't about a throne. What was I thinking trusting you? Mm, she just doesn't trust anyone, does she? Oh, you never trusted me, did you? I bet this might be a con. These two are work. both of them are working together. This is like an act for Kang. And I can't be trusted. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> Can she enchant him and see if he's telling the truth? The cost of getting this wrong is too great. Fine. Yeah. Is Loki gonna get in the way? He like teleported there. I felt what you feel. Mm. I told a throne. He wants you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kang just at the back. Oh. Who opened that door? Did she? Ah, oh, she picked up his time. She betrayed him. It's always what happens with Lokis. <laughs> this version of King is dead, but we'll be getting more versions of him. So this is the origin of the multiverse, isn't it? So, ah, oh, so cool. Almost looks like veins or something. Or a nervous system. All branching off. It's beautiful. Oh, it's all like almost surrounding them. Turning back now for all time. <laughs> Always. So are we just gonna leave it on this almost tragic note of the multiverse being created and all of the consequences of that. What's Sylvie going to do now? What are they... What's he up to? What's the TV up to? The people running around, what are they doing? Uh, are some of the people still trying to fix things? He's looking for some sort of information, maybe? How are we even going to stop it? We can't! What? Yeah, you can't stop it. 
We made a terrible mistake. What's done? But someone is coming. Countless different versions of a very dangerous person. You're an analyst, right? What division what? are you from? What? Boots on the ground now, archives. Who are you? Oh. What? What's happening? Okay. What is happening? Is Loki in a different timeline? So that's Kang as a timekeeper. Did he get sent to another multiverse? But so that was one where Mobius doesn't know who he is. But they were talking about the branching timelines there. Ah, of course they leave us with more questions than answers. And this is like a different timeline. But the TV exists outside of the timeline. Ah. Uh, and time time works weird in the TVA, so this was like a version of Mobius before he met Loki, perhaps. I'm very confused, I'm not going to lie. So it's like the Kang statue was there instead of the timekeepers, but what does that mean? This is a ultra a variant of the TVA where it was always him in charge instead of the timekeepers. Is there going to be a season two? I'm glad it was Kang in the end, I think. And I do like that Kang is just kind of a regular guy, like he is human. Because after Thanos, I wanted there to be a more human, more grounded villain. And now it's going to be special guest star Jonathan Majors, yeah. Now it's going to be Kang, who is a human, but he has like time manipulation powers. I wonder how different all these variants of Kang are going to be. Is there going to be an end credit scene? Maybe we see what Sylvie's up to. <laughs> There's going to be a season two. Okay. When will that happen? Okay, so I enjoyed that. I imagine there'll be some people that didn't. Uh, you know, there'll be people who uh, wanted a really action-packed finale, like the Falcon and the Winter Soldier one. But we kind of had that last episode. A lot of questions answers answered but even more brought up i'm very confused by that end i'm not quite sure what's happening there where did S it was sylvie who sent him there and then what's going to happen with sylvie from now on and we're actually going to get a season two for one of these shows which is really cool you know so maybe we have season one then we have multiverse of madness no way home and then in season two maybe they find a way to fix everything I don't know, you know, how, I don't know where on the timeline this is all going to take place now. If there is any, if there even is a timeline anymore. I really enjoyed Kang. I think, um, you know, there were some problems that you have to overcome with introducing him so late. We have to get all of that backstory. And a lot of this episode was just sitting and talking, but I enjoyed it because it's the character's that kind of pull it through not the action but the people who are here just for the action side of it they're going to be disappointed i know there'll be people disappointed with the kiss i kind of expected it to happen anyway so it doesn't i don't really care but i know there'll be people who are disappointed because it kind of it's like we have some lgbt representation and then they take it away by making them sh straight but then you know they both confirm they're bi two bi people being in a straight relationship doesn't affect their bi-ness they're still part of the lgbtq community but in terms of representation and what it actually means on screen i understand the grievance with that because this, these aren't real people you know so you know kang is what's most likely going to be one of the big major villains coming forward and after Thanos I really wanted a human villain and that's kind of what we're getting with Kang he has like time travel powers or whatever but that's kind of what we're getting and then you know this variant of Kang is dead so maybe in the future we will get a blue variant I hope the personalities aren't that much different between all of the variants because I kind of like this he had more of a kind of joker vibe or something I guess 
you know, with Thanos, he was very big, serious, and intimidating. And that was kind of what I was expecting from Kang anyway. I was expecting, like, a big, booming voice and things like that. But I actually really like this version, where he's a villain who's a bit more manipulative. He still can be intimidating because he's so hard to touch. It's cool to have kind of a fresh take and not just have it be, you know, a big evil alien again. No, like that he's actually human. And it's funny that the first thing we get from the Fantastic Four in the MCU is the great, 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 great grandson or, you know, however many greats is of Reed Richards. I think this makes me more excited to see Quantumania and see what's happening there. Maybe Ant-Man can travel to different timelines now because he can go into the quantum realm and then come up in a different timeline, perhaps. So there might be multiverse shenanigans going on there. And then I wonder, you know, this Kang came to power over all of the other Kangs. So maybe another Kang does that, and that's what we're seeing at the TVA, perhaps. So, you know, I was thinking maybe all of the Kangs, you know, maybe we will see a few variants here and there, but there will be kind of one big bad Kang who kind of overtakes all of the others and he's like the big bad for the Avengers going forward for an, for like Avengers 4 or something. I really liked all of the sets and the CGI here was great again. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see season two. I really liked Mobius back and his chat with Renslayer. It makes me wonder what Renslayer's up to. You know, there's a lot of stuff we didn't get answers for here, but that's all set up for season two. And of course, that cliffhanger at the end, I'm like... I have no idea what's happening there, really. I can't even begin to come up with theories because everything just contradicts each other. So I'm really excited to see what that is. So thank you for watching. If you've seen all of my reactions, thank you for sticking with the series. I'll be sure to do season two when it comes out. If you stayed to the end, be sure to leave a like or a comment or even, subs or even subscribe so you can keep up to date with all of the uploads. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.